Hello everybody, it's Lazel here with another video and today I want to talk about a topic that can help you with speeding up and improving your event performance because today I want to talk about the troop adjustment window when we attack a target. So let's say we attack a target or for example here now this monster and then we open up this window where we usually adjust our troops and many players are using the level first setting. And I did that too and over the time I found out it to be very inefficient for the following reason. When you are in an alliance and you have agreed on a preset, for example this one here where we split our infantry by 50k into odd and even, then you always want to send this minimum amount of infantry. And let's think about the following scenario. Uh, you are in Savage Lands you just hit a target with this troop combination or with this troop formation and you get the event rewards and you use those to increase your march size. So and then you get your next target and you want to attack that target in time and then you just go on the target, you press attack and you want to send the same preset again but you have just improved your march size so you want to quickly adjust your troops and you just draw your mages and then this scenario can happen. You draw so fast because you want to be in time that you draw too far and by that reduce the amount of infantry that you want to send. And you always want to send the minimum amount of infantry that is required by the preset that your alliance has agreed on. So and this is the reason why I found the level first setting to be very inefficient. What I found to be very efficient is the speed setting. Why is that so? You always start with your cavalry because they are your fastest unit, then you come up with your infantry, then you have your angels. Here we have the tier 10 infantry because they have the same speed as angels but then it counts what has the higher battle power apparently and then in the end your backline comes either archers or mages. And this is very healthy for playing very fast because then you can just hit the preset and see oh I have just increased my march size and I just have one or two seconds until I have to leave the castle to be in time with our timed attack. Then you can just say okay let's say this would be my preset and in the worst case scenario if you know that you don't have time you just draw here and you are done. And this guarantees that you always send the minimum amount of infantry because here below your mages is nothing that can be reduced because your mages or your archers have the lowest speed depending on what backline you are using. This preset or the setting of speed first is in my opinion the most efficient one that you can use. And even if you then want to say okay but when I increase my march size I want to send more infantry then that's still a good thing. You can just do that, do that here and then quickly scroll down and see how your backline looks and in the worst case you can just draw here very fast and you never really have to worry about reducing a unit that has a minimum amount that you have to send. So. This is the reason why I personally use speed first. You can also use the setting of load first. These are almost similar to each other. Only your archers are above your angels because they can load more than angels. But this really depends on your playstyle and on your troop focus. If you're an archer focus player then load first might not be the best setting for you if you're willing to play a lot with your angels. But load first and speed first are almost the same as I just described. There are a few differences here around your angels. But this, yeah, you can use both. I personally use speed first because it lines up the backline units or all backline units here on, on the lowest part of the screen. And this is really relaxed for me when I'm playing events and when I have to play fast. You also could use the total first setting but I am personally not a big fan of it because for example here in my attack preset for my star runes attack if I he would be increasing my march size here and then I would draw my mages or try to improve my mages you can immediately see that every other unit gets reduced and this is not what I want to have so I would stick to speed first and if I increase my march size I just have to quickly scroll down 
and I could work on my mages and it doesn't matter because there's nothing below. So this is why I am using the speed first setting. I, I have found out for me to be most efficient with that. I play way faster in attacks and I'm usually always on time when we are doing a time attack or speed attack. And this is why I can definitely recommend to use the speed first setting because it is, it is the most relaxed for event performance. And I have made very good experience with, the, with that. And you can definitely check out my videos that I'm doing for my Saturday uploads. There is usually raw event gameplay. And when I am uploading videos about the Savage Lands, you can definitely find information there or you can see how I quickly adjust troops. I will try to have an eye on that in my future editing. And so I hope that this tip helped you out. And then I would say see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.